Hello, my name is Ryan Page and I'm an application specialist for Tecla Structures. Today in this video we're going to be discussing general arrangement drawings. Specifically though, we're only going to be covering a few key points. First, we're going to take a closer look at how object type settings are configured. Objects can refer to parts and rebar and welds and how those objects are represented in our drawings. Then we're going to review the settings provided under the Others header of our GA Drawing Property dialog and how those apply to our drawings in general. So with that, let's begin. When looking to specify the look of our objects, whether that be the parts or pores or rebar, embeds, and so on, we do this through the settings located under the Objects header. As with marks, let's take a look at the part settings and then compare them to some of the other types. As expected, we have the Load and Save As fields directly at the top for saving settings and modifying them. The Content tab controls the options we can specify for how our parts are going to be presented, and the Appearance and Fill tabs control the part's color, line type, and hatching options. On the Content tab, we can specify how detailed the part representation is. We can also take a look and specify settings on whether or not we'd like to see hidden lines for parts behind our concrete or parts, or even the hidden contours of our part itself. Users can show center lines or other reference lines of the part if desired and control some of the additional marks or features to be visible on the part. For example, turning on the ability to see the chamfer if you provided a chamfered edge. On the Appearance tab, we can specify line types and colors for visible edges, hidden lines, center lines, as well as reference lines. The Fill tab allows us to provide a fill color and or pattern independently for both the outside face of our part or for when the part is shown in a section cut. For other types of objects, the settings for the Content tab may vary and will be a little bit more specific and applicable to those objects, but users will always have the ability to dictate how these parts look, and they'll find familiarity with the Appearance and Fill tabs. Now, as a final note on object and mark settings, it's important to state that if you would like to modify or create settings to be used in the object level settings, just as we have, they need to be done through the General Arrangement Drawing Properties dialog box. There are a few other places that you can define settings for parts and marks, and they have their purposes, but in order to use them for drawing creation, this is the dialog where you need to specify or modify. So keep that in mind going forward. Now, before we close out our tour of the General Arrangement Properties dialog, we do have a few other settings, and they're located under the other header down below. Filter and Neighbor Part Filters allow you to filter out objects shown in the drawing. Now, we did this before creating the drawing in our model view, but you can also specify what objects to show or exclude from your drawing with these filter fields instead. Now we see neighbor parts pop up in a couple of different places, and it's probably good to address what they are. Neighbor parts refer to any part, be it concrete, steel, or etc., that is close or connected to our actual part, the subject matter of our drawing, which we do want to show in our drawing. A neighbor part, part mark, and filters allows us to control those neighbor parts independently from our main parts. Although this can be useful when first getting into general arrangement drawings, these settings aren't that important, but they can be explored at a later time. So just keep this in the back of your head as something to circle back to. Now, the user defined attributes is a dialog that provides many fields which we can populate with additional information that is associated to the drawing itself. This info can then be referenced in drawings and or reports as needed. This information can be generic and no with notes and comments and things, but there are also tabs for the drawing and submittal workflows where you can populate fields for drafter, checker, approver with associated dates and reference that in the actual title block itself for revisions. Lastly, though, we have what's called protection. Settings under protection allow users to define protected areas in the drawing. Protected areas in drawings prevent text, 
marks, or dimensions from being placed in that area, or essentially on top of your objects. For example, in general arrangement drawings, you often want to have different protection settings in plan views versus section or detail views. In plan views, you may want to show marks inside the area or on top of, say, your slab. It's not a big deal to have callouts there. However, in a section view, that's not the case. You're going to want those marks to be called on the outside. Using the protection settings, we're able to go ahead and dictate how Tecla will handle that. Now, here's an example taken from our Tecla user assistance page on protected areas in drawings. We can see the dialog box in a couple of highlighted areas. Up at the top with number one, text and marks may overlap with part corners and edges, but not with the part content. Now, for the highlighted area number two, dimension values may not overlap with any other dimension arrowheads, lines, or values. This dialog box can take a little bit of practice in getting used to, and if you can navigate to the Tecla User Assistance page with this diagram, it also lists out which each of the icons uh, describe and depict. I'll provide a link to this page specifically in this video's description. And with that, this is going to conclude our look at general arrangement drawing level settings. There's still more to cover on general arrangement drawings, and we'll be taking a look in future videos how the information we've already spoken about correlates to view or object settings, as well as a deeper dive into drawing layouts. So make sure to keep an eye out for our next videos. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching. For more information on the topics discussed in this video, or for other topics, make sure to visit our Techler User Assistance webpage for product guides, support articles, tutorials, and more.